Oh, hello. Sorry. I'm a little bit distracted today. Uh, I saw her again today. Uh, of course, by her, I mean Lynx, that fine feminine feline. Uh, and by saw, I mean she beat me up and foiled my plot to train all of the squirrels in the city to pick pockets and donate the money to the Mitt Romney ad campaign. Uh, but I really think we're making progress because there was a moment, let me tell you, right after uh, she kicked me in the monkey balls, um, we made eye contact and she hissed the most sultry, enticing hiss. I just wanted to take a bowl of milk and a ball of yarn and just... <clears throat> I, uh, I've actually been launching my attacks on the populace in uh, different parts of the city, monitoring her response time in hopes that I might narrow down where she lives and maybe stop by with a lost puppy, ask for her help. Um, of course, first I'd have to steal a puppy, but it uh, shouldn't be too hard. You know, it's just kind of hard for me. I mean, with all of the planning nefarious crimes, I don't have a lot of time to meet nice girls at the ice cream parlor or the record shop or wherever it is normal people meet nice girls. Um, I did set up a profile on datasupervillain.com, uh, sent a lot of messages back and forth with a bad villainous 214. Uh, turns out it was a sting set up by the police and the League of Avenging Super People. Uh, when I got where we were supposed to meet, I saw Whaleman's uh, Buick outside and got the hell out of there, fortunately. Uh, you know, Whaleman, your car has a whale's tail for a spoiler, so it doesn't exactly blend in. Uh, next time you're trying to do some undercover work, try taking the bus, or calling a cab, or are there no pockets for change in that short-legged little wetsuit that you always wear? Why do you even wear that? I've never seen you anywhere near the water. Trust me, if you ever get in a fight with Dr. Popsicle, you're gonna wish you had some pants on. So, get a clue. Anyways, emails! Alright. Um, gotten a lot of emails asking for my origin story, so I thought I'd fill you in. Uh, growing up, I was never really accepted by the rest of the kids, and so I decided to take my revenge by causing as much mayhem as possible. Um, that's it. That's the story. Uh, you can't always expect some two-hour Hollywood action epic. Some of our stories are actually pretty boring. So, um, anyways, more emails. Let's see. Zombie Follower 17 writes, Scorpion Monkey, why are you so gay? Okay, here's a question from Plastic Expositionist, Mr. Spider Monkey. Okay, first of all, it's Scorpion Monkey. Scorpion. Spider Monkeys are cute little cuddly pets, while I, Scorpion Monkey, am a dastardly evil harbinger of doom. So, get it right next time. Anyways. The question is, have any of your schemes ever worked? It seems all your stories are about getting beat up by various superheroes. Look, my goal is world domination. So it's kind of like the lottery. I really only need to win one time. Uh, if I ever do succeed, you'll know it by the fact that you're bowing at my feet. So is that about cover it? Let's see, Princess of Tin, it's a rather odd name, anyways, she writes, Mr. Scorpion Monkey, I have been following, following you since the beginning, I think that you are just awesome. My only question is, why are you so hung up on Lynx? I know I would die for a chance to obey your every whim, and have even included a picture to show just how, whoa, okay. I think that's enough emails for now. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please email me at thescorpionmonkey at gmail.com. And let's try and keep this a family-friendly blog. All right. Oh, and links if you're watching, call me.